My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 24 years and a cyclist all my life. Today, I'm going to review for you all the different types of chamois creams. Now, as a cyclist, you probably already know what these are, but if you're new to cycling, what happens is you do not want to get a saddle sore. And a saddle sore is a skin irritation or a skin infection that occurs because of friction along the saddle area. So what ends up happening, they come up with different brands of creams to help prevent this. And I'm gonna go through with you all the different creams I've tried and what I would recommend for you. And if you have something that you particularly like, let us know in the comments section below and why you like it. Now, just as a disclaimer, usually I never even use these things. And the reason why is because most of my rides are under 50 miles and it's very seldom hot in the area that I uh, ride in. And the most important thing, my bike fits me. I don't have my saddle so high that my buttocks are shifting side to side, which is the most common reason why people get saddle swords. It's not because of lack of some type of product, it's because the bike doesn't fit you really good and you're trying to compensate and the most common way people compensate is by shifting their hips from one side to the other and then as it gets hotter, the sweat, the salt, as well as the friction starts to cause a skin irritation. So that's number one thing that you wanna do before you even consider these chamois creams. Now this is the first chamois cream that is the, probably the most popular. It's called chamois butter. And what happens is you will apply this to the area and I'm gonna show you right now how to apply this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of this and no, we're not gonna show you that. So what happens is you put this, now you're not gonna put it under those things that I just showed you, you're gonna put it at the side because most people get a saddle sore on the area where the saddle actually contacts you as well as the inner thigh where the friction occurs when you're going along the saddle. So I like this stuff because it actually has some witch hazel in it and some menthol which gives a little cooling effect so when you first apply it ooh, it feels so nice and cool um, it doesn't last a long time so i recommend this type of stuff this chamois butter for anything under 50 miles and if it's not super hot now i'm not a dairy farmer in vermont but this supposedly is the best stuff to apply to i'm not going to say the word because YouTube may get upset, but it, it's for cows, basically. It's not designed for cycling. Uh, this stuff I have used in the past because anything over about, like today, it's I'm gonna probably do about 60, 70 miles, and um, today it, it's summertime, and it's been really hot, so it's like over 90 degrees. So when it's hot, when you're riding in areas where there's not a lot of shade, and you're gonna sweat a lot, this stuff is the bomb. But the problem with this is that it actually is very, it goes on very thick like a Vaseline and gets in the, in the clothing of your cycling gear and it's a little bit difficult to wash out. But if you're riding long distances, this bag bomb is for you. Uh, again, probably most cyclists know more about the positive effects of bag bomb than dairy farmers in Vermont. Now this stuff was sent to me by the Squirt Company, it's called Barrier Bomb, and actually it's very similar to the Bag Bomb. Uh, I've used it a couple times on long rides. What's nice about this, and I really like this, and I'll put a link down below if you want uh, for all these things, so you can choose what you want, but this, this has a nice uh, smell to it, and actually it's got tea tree oil in it, which is very effective for preventing infections of the skin. Um, it's very similar to the bag bomb in as it goes very it goes on very very thick as you can see like this and so what happens is with this stuff uh, it does uh, get into your clothing so you have to definitely wash the clothing real well but so far compared to bag bomb I actually like this stuff because of the tea tree oil uh, so this is my new go-to uh, chamois cream with uh, longer rides that are in the heat. So hopefully that helps you uh, balance out 
all the things that would irritate these things.